Okay, we're going to be <clears throat> solving problems that have a 7, 8, or 9 in them. Let's begin. We have 4 plus 9, and we've done 9s enough to know that we have to break it apart so there's a 1. So 9 can add 1, to, we can make it 10. That would be 10 and 3. And here we have 9, we have our 4, filled our 10 frame, there's 3 left. And our answer was 13. 10 and 3 is 13. Now we have 6 and 8. We're going to break it apart so that the 8 can take 2. But we're going to fill our 10 frame. Here's 8. And now I have to put the 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But I used 2 to fill the 10 frame. 4 left over. So that means 10 and 4 on the bottom. See that? So 6 plus 8 and 10 plus 4 is 14. Now we have 7 plus 4. So I'm going to do 7 and I'm going to add 4 more. These 3 are going to fill my 10 frame. Put it together so that 3 can go with 7. 1 left over. 10 and 1 is 11. So 7 plus 4 is 11. Here we go. These are going to be the next ones we are going to practice. Here we have 10 black ones and 5 red ones. 10 and 5 is 15. So let's what happened when we do 9. I'm going to change one of those black ones to red, and now I have 9 plus 6 is 15. Can you think of what we're going to do to change the problem to be an, an 8 plus number? I'm going to keep the same number of counters. 8 plus 6. Flipped it over, and now it is 7. 8 and 7, I have 5, 6, 7. And now, look at this. 7, 5, 6, 7. How many down here? 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 plus 7 is 15, and 7 plus 8 is 15. Both of them. Nice job practicing making 15, practicing adding with 7, 8, or 9, and the last one's all equaled 15. Have a good day.